India, late evening, March 2001. A nation rejoiced over a remarkable few days in its cricket history. This is the story of how an Indian team turned likely defeat into glorious victory against the best cricketers in the world. This is the story of India versus Australia, a test series that had everything. Well, could they follow that? The decider in the three-match series came at Chennai. Steve Waugh won his third consecutive toss and again decided to bat first. The pitch looked likely to turn after a couple of days and Waugh wanted to take advantage of a possibly wearing surface. Colin Miller was called up for his first start of the series. A twin spin attack then for Australia. Otherwise, it was the same team who lost in Calcutta. No surprise that India went in with the same batting lineup. Changes again though in the bowling department with Sairaj Bahatuli making his debut and Nilesh Kulkarni also coming in, so plenty of spin. Samir Dige was another debutant taking over the gloves from Naya Mongia who hadn't recovered from his injury in Calcutta. Australia lost Slater for four. And at 67, Justin Langer continued his poor run, out for 35. But Matthew Hayden was playing magnificently again, with Mark Waugh at last finding some form. We pick up the innings with Australia just past the 200 mark for the loss of those two wickets. This time he goes in front of square with success. Very good shot. He's had a few practices at it in the last 10 minutes or so. And way out in front of himself. Well, that one's hit hard. Didn't go for height on that occasion, just hit it as hard as he could. I don't see Mark Moore uh, really look as though he's trying to hit it, and he was trying to hit that one. This time he goes. It hasn't quite hit it properly. Mid-off getting under it, and well taken. So Bahatule has uh, lured Mark Moore into the lofted shot, and he got a much-needed wicket for India. This is a very good catch, because Mark Moore has sliced it. Not a full swing of the bat. He had to reach in the end, and slicing away from Badani, that is an excellent running catch. You don't see them much better than that. And Mark Moore acknowledges himself for that little wry look in his face. It's 217 for three.
there it is it's 100 to Matthew Hayden superbly played that's his third test century it's already his second in the series he's made 119 and uh, here we are now 100 not out oh and Steve Waugh playing that full sweep has that gone all the way yes it has that's a six as well well the captain has decided to continue what uh, the other batsmen have started that's that pull sweep he plays he's been working on that one and puts it into practice often these days too short and easy pickings for the australian captain well he can't be a leg spinner and bowl short at this level particularly as short as that steve ward is all he had to do was get it between two fieldsmen That's a lovely shot from Hayden. There was reverse swing for Zahir Khan, but he's adjusted well, played late, and he's got the placement right too. That's put away. Loose delivery. No problems in dealing with that, Steve Waugh. That boundary makes him the third highest run scorer in Test match cricket. He's just gone past Graham Gooch of England. And the two men who are above him, both in this ground at the moment. Well, he tossed that one up a little bit and uh, uppishly driven, but uh, it'll probably get to the boundary for four. So a lovely drive. That one tossed up outside off stump and Matthew Hayden cracking it through the covers for four. And, uh, well, that takes the score now to 308 for three. That one really turned and bounced quite sharply. And that's the reason you get him on time and again. It's because uh, yesterday he was the best spinner on view without doubt. He, he was the only spinner who was able to get the ball to bite off the surface. Rudy Kurtzen officiating at uh, square leg at the moment. Ah! Well, that's worth a shout. And oh, he's got to be out. He's just hit it with his hand, and they're appealing, and he's been given out. Steve War, uh, I think he was more worried about the LBW appeal, and he was looking at the umpire and suddenly heard the ball bounce near the stumps. The automatic reaction was to put his hand out. The first appeal was for LBW, and then the Indian players started appealing for handle the ball, and Steve War had to go. I haven't seen that happen for a long time. So, and there's a big shout there from Samir Digay and Habajan has got Ricky Ponding first ball with the straight one and a sharp bit of work there by Samir Digay. He'll be a bit relieved to uh, do some good work behind the stumps. Two wickets in two balls. That's worth a shout. Yes, he's been given out. And he wasn't very far forward when he attempted that sweep. It was the quicker one from Harbajan. So once again, Australia having problems in the middle order. It's quite amazing. Adam Gilchrist, after playing that great innings at Mumbai, has played some horrendous shots ever since. This is a repeat of what he did in Kolkata. And I think if you look at this, this will be a plumb leg before decision. Very much in line and would have hit nothing but middle stump. He's gone for one and 344 for six, Australia. Oh, he's hit that one and that's going to go for six as well. Way over the top of the field. So there's one back down there. He's taken him on once again, Matthew Hayden. His aggressive attitude here and his ability to get that ball away off the middle of the bat. Is, uh, is dominating this Indian attack. This is a tremendous shot because there is a man in deep mid-wicket, so there is a risk element here when he plays it. 
But it just goes to show the way he's thinking at the moment. The Warren fighting to get off this duck and fighting to stay there with his partner Matthew Hayden. In the air and got him. So Shane Warren goes for a duck. And there's a bit of needle out in the middle of the ground. Very good catch, one-handed catch. And SS Dars has done it at short square league. Very good catch. And Shane Warne goes for north. That's his 23rd duck. Shane Warne. Now that's lovely bowling from Harvajan Singh. That has been bowled a little slower. Shane Warne had to wait for that one. And what a lovely catch at short leg. A very happy man, Harvajan Singh. Shane Warne gone for a duck. 374 for 7 Australia. And Gillespie goes high and wide to mid on, and he could be out. And a simple catch. Sort of Ganguly takes a simple catch and he shows it to the crowd. So Harvajan Singh, the third innings in a row, collects five wickets or more. That brings up his fifth. Very good catch by Ganguly. Running around, got himself in a nice position. Nice soft hands, and Gillespie just a little bit frustrated. frustrated. Hayden going after his double hundred now. It's in the air, going for his seventh six. There are two men there, and it dropped. Well, Harvard and Singh out there at mid wicket, and he has given Matthew Hayden his second life of the innings. And it goes towards the fence. Will it get there? Will it go for four to bring up the 200? He should get three at least. He's going to turn back now. And uh, well done, Matthew Hayden. 204, Matthew Hayden. 147 not out overnight. And a century in the first test, 97 in the second test. And now, at this stage, an unbeaten, delighted 200 for Matthew Hayden. And why wouldn't he be? What an innings. This time it's Colin Miller going, trying to hit it over the top. And he'll be caught at mid-wicket. Sairaj Bautule, the fielder, no problem for him. Wicket number six for Harbhajan Singh. He's not looking very happy there because he's dropped the catch in the previous over of Bautule's bowling, that of Matthew Hayden. But nevertheless, he's got the ninth wicket for India. Oh, he's hit that one straight down the ground. This is going to be caught. Yes, he'll be caught. He's held out of deep mid-off. That's unfortunate. You can see Glenn McGraw is a, a bit disappointed about that. Well, it's the end of a superb innings. So, 391 all out. Another terrific knock from Matthew Hayden. But the only real support came from the War Brothers. Captain Steve War, one of the few players in Test history, out handled the ball. An outstanding performance from Habajan Singh. Seven more wickets for him. He'd already taken 24 in the series. So India again with some batting to do. The first target was to avoid the follow-on. Oh, good shot. Beautifully played. That's the... Well, I think that's probably the best shot of the inning so far. Whipped away from a roundabout leg stump. Well, Ramesh... I think uh, has relaxed uh, immensely since getting off the mark. Beautiful shot there through the onside. So one continuing. Oh. Edged and just pass slip. Lucky boundary there for Ramesh. That's the wide half walling. Shane Warne wanting him to play against the break. He went for it. That's an excellent shot. Curving in nicely onto his pads. 50 up for India without loss, so a good start for India. Chasing the Australian score of 391. Well, that's what happens. It brings about frustration if you don't pick up those singles. They've got away with it on this occasion. 
but you can't keep doing it against a good cricket team. That one swerved in the air and he smashed it away for four to get his off century. I don't think Shane Warne will be all that worried about uh, that particular shot, but boy, it's been a tremendous contribution from SS Das. Oh, that's a bit short, and uh, that'll be four. Yes, at his pace, you cannot be short because uh, both these players are playing that little run down to third man very well. Nicely tipped away. In fact, that may go all the way. What a way to start your innings after the tee. And Mesh brings up his 50 with a delightful shot for him in wicket. Not sure whether he could call it an on drive or just a flick that pierced through the onside. Yeah! Big shout now. He's got an inside edge. He has. So finally, he's trying to get a wicket. Finally, Warren gets the wicket. It was a mistake by Ramesh trying to turn it quickly to square leg and not hit straight through the line. He's paid the penalty. It looks like he may have hit it into his foot and it lobbed up. So Shane Warren finally rewarded it after a long spell at the crease into his 14th over. Big wicket for Australia. This was a big partnership developing. Got to the pitch of the ball, but have a look at the bat. Just going across the line. Has this tendency, said Gopin Ramesh, to do this. And pay the penalty, not for the first time I've seen. Very disappointed. But a good innings of 61 by Ramesh and 123 for one now, India. Good cricket all round. Pretty good fielder off his own bowling, Shane Warne. Australians just feeling now as though uh, they've got an opportunity here. Spirits have lifted a little. Oh, he's gone for the big one here. Aggressive shot. And might have just cleared the ropes. He's going to refer it to the third umpire here, Rudy Christian. He saw Das play the shot twice before T, but it was more along the ground. It was a good sounding clunk when he hit it right off the middle of the bat. He's only a little man, but he's got a lot of right shoulder into that one. Six signal. He smashed that one too. BBS Laxman is beginning to cut loose here in Chennai. Quite a big hit, not right off the middle of the bat, but it's gone close to the rope. He does hit the ball uh, pretty well for a little man. He's played some very aggressive shots in this innings, as it does. Just a flick of the wrist. He's so full of confidence, VBS Lakshman. Sometimes you fear it might just get into overconfidence. Safe shot, the field was really in, no one in the deep. One bounce into the hoardings. Well, that avoids the follow on in grand style. Well, that's another skimmer, one bounce and into the advertising hoardings. 54 DPS Laxman. He's in some sort of form, this bloke. And that's a big swing delivery, and McGrath has done exactly what Australia wanted. Got a wicket with the first ball, and he'll be encouraged by that bit of swing. So SS Das is gone, but that will bring Tendulkar to the crease. Well, he was seen working furiously on that ball, and that's one of the reasons he's got considerable river swing. Well, a 
magnificent shot. That's a batsman in form. And that's the way to uh, combat the swinging ball. Taken, what a brilliant catch there by Mark Waugh. Steve Waugh has only just brought the second slip in. I'll tell you what, that was a brilliant catch. It went quickly and it went down. Oh, he's had a go at that one. It's going straight down the ground, bouncing away for four. Well, it looks as if he's going to take Warren on. 277 for three. Oh, that's a great shot. On the up through the offside. Don't worry chasing that one. That's four. Tenduka is beginning to stamp himself all over this match. 279, two, sorry, 283 for three. It wasn't a bad ball. Just a great batsman playing a good shot. He's got him, he's got him, yes, that's caught behind, Big Nick, Glenn McGrath has struck again, that's great bowling, see you later buddy, I suppose is what he said once more, that's twice now he's got him, beautiful bowling by Glenn McGrath, he's been the pick of the bowlers today. That really is the greatness of the man, because he knows exactly which delivery will trouble which batsman, he knew this is the one for him, round the wicket, angling in and leaving at the last minute, Ganguly... And no answer for that one. Gone for 22, and the score now 284 for four. And Kendulka going for the big one. Just seems it might have gone all the way. Six signal. That's taken Colin Miller by surprise. Nobody out there in the deep. That was an invitation accepted gleefully by Tendulkar. That's a clever shot. He's used Miller's pace and a cheeky way to bring up his half century. Cheeky indeed, but all the time in control of that delivery. Good footwork from Raul Dravet. That innings in Calcutta has done him a lot of good. 3.29 for four. That's four more. Warren is working on the plan there, round leg stump, just over pitching on that occasion. It's 3.39 for four. Well, Rahul Dravet. Very confidently going after Colin Miller. 350 up. Looks very easy when it's played as well as that. There's a cut shot, and uh, it's going to bisect the field. It'll go for four. What a good uh, way to finish the session. And he watches that to the fence. What a shot. What a cricket shot. It wasn't all that short. He got up there. There may have been an element of thinking about a back defence, but then he thought, no, he may have just whacking in front of point for four. They tried by just two. Deep. He will come in, he's got him. Dropped. Well, Michael Slade has wandered in in perfect position, put his hands up, and he got the top edge to Miller he enticed. Tenduka to play across the line, and a very simple catch of deep in wicket has gone down. So Tenduka has a life. Twin spin for the Australians, and what a shot. 
Dunduka just got up towards the ball somehow and then just caressed it past the man at mid on. Dunduka goes now to 91. Dunduka has gone for the big one and got up his 100 in style. 25th hundred in Test Match Cricket. That's a stunning blow down the ground. Tremendous shot. What a welcome to the bowling crease here. Raul Dravid has smashed Gillespie down the ground for six. Well, that takes the lead to 50. That's fine, and put down. Leg glance there that flew off the bat. It wasn't too far away from Gilchrist, who was sticking out his right hand, in fact, his left hand. Nothing seems to be going right here for the Australians. It's a much quicker delivery there from uh, Jason Gillespie. Ball glanced at hit just out of the center of the glove. Ball coming off the bat. And that's the problem that you have when you're out there for a long time. Even the best of fielding sides you start to get a little weary. That's out, caught behind, yes, at last. Gillespie deserves that wicket. He's bowled fast in the spell. Dravid has been caught. We've seen a couple put down, one in the deep, one behind. But uh, at last, the Australians have struck. Now then, can they do something from here? Flicks the bouncer over the top of slip. Mark War, sorry, it's Matthew Hayden actually at first slip. Just stays lying on the ground, thanking his lucky stars he wasn't decapitated. Man, this will get a smile on his face. He's been concentrating so hard during the day, and that is from appreciation from the bowler, smiling back. This is a delightful batsmanship. Side edge there, there was a noise, and umpire Jay Prakash has put the finger up. So, finally, a bit of good luck there for Jason Gillespie. That's why we keep saying what a series this has been, and this is a big wicket, could be a turnaround as far as Australia is concerned. Lead of 77, 126 for Sachin Tendulkar. What an innings it's been! 468. Six. The Indian tail mustered another 33 runs to take the innings total to 501. What a difference now in the batting. Five of the top six all making good scores with Tendulkar top of the class. Three more victims for McGrath in another economical display, but the spinners bowled 88 overs for 300 runs. So a lead of 110 for India and a bit of pressure again on the Australian batsman. Well played, that's a lovely shot by Slater, he's picked that one away through the onside, They're running over this very fast outfield, and that's the first boundary of the innings. Down the track and in the air, so the tactics are obvious for everyone to see. He started with a six here. Slater out of form, happy to use his feet, come down and hit lovely through the line shot. Down the track and hammered down the ground. Excellent use of his feet there by Hayden. One thing with him is when he chips down the track, there are no half measures. No, and he's in very good form, so he's pretty comfortable. And uh, that has put a hole in the sign. That's how hard he's hit that. Well, Slater's hit that well. That's a lovely stroke. Positive cricket from Michael Slater. We saw this happening on the first day as well. 
the Australian batsmen really attacked the Indian spinners and got 326 runs. A very positive stroke. Hit well and it'll clear mid wicket easily. What a big hitter of the ball Matthew Hayden is. And I'm sure the way he's played Indian spinners, the Australian selectors will now have to think whether to leave him back in India for the one-day series. Oh, he's hit that one. It's going to be caught. No, it won't. It... Oh, it's a good, great effort. What a catch. What a catch. Well, Zahir has come forward there. Very, very difficult. He just stuttered a little bit. Pulled off an absolute blinder. That could be the turning point. Matthew Hayden has been uh, a magnificent player in this series. What a catch. I gave him no chance. Big, big wicket for the Indians. They've kept it simple, simple after line. The field placement is just right. Three men in the deep. And they haven't tried anything out of the ordinary with the field placement. Zahir Khan taking a good catch. Didn't time it at all, Matthew Hayden. That hasn't happened often with him in this series. Oh, that's well balled. That's out. He's out. LBW. That's him. Half forward. Very, very tentative he was. That's that arm ball. And uh, really, while I think he was playing a shot, I suppose the issue is, one, did it hit him outside the line? Two, if it didn't, was it going down the leg side? Just from behind him here, yeah, very difficult to see, but it looked to me if it must have been very, very adjacent. So, Gilchrist's horror run continues. Let's have a look. Excellent bowling by Harpajan Singh. He pushed it through, not much of spin intended. I think that was hitting him in line and was going to hit middle stump. To it, and that's dreadful fielding. Yes, it's um, it's little mishaps like this that it, uh, really can uh, allow the opposition to uh, win back that little bit of confidence. That's taken in the slips, top spinner that finds the outside edge. And Australia have lost their third wicket. What a turnaround after lunch. Michael Slater, the man who was set, looking good. Handling the spinners very well so far. He gets his hands to it, but that's beaten the stumps. And this time... Langer has gone way over the top. Thirty-three minutes without scoring, and he has broken that half an hour with a huge six. He's a big hitter of the ball, Justin Langer. You may not think that he's a aggressive batsman, thirty-four five balls in the first innings, but when he goes, he hits a lot of big sixes. It's a four to follow up with. So he's broken the shackles. It's 117 for three. That's a very good shot. Delayed the shot and just tapped it on the head as it went past. Great shot. Oh, and that's magnificently caught, but not out. Oh, there's a nod, there's a nod. He's given him, that's a great catch. Langer does not believe it. 
Well, I must say, my initial reaction was that the ball went to ground after it hit the bat. But that's from about uh, 200 metres away. Langer stayed his ground, and the umpire had no, no hesitation whatsoever. Nodded his head and then gave him out. Well, let's have a look at the slow motion replay. It's a very good delivery from Bautule. Well, he's gone. There's no doubt about that. Justin Langer gone for 21. One for one for four, Australia. No ball called and nicely played by Steve Waugh. Right over the top of that one, smothering the spin. It'll go for four as well. Well, it's just a few more of those. The Australians will be hoping just to score enough runs to be able to put the Indians under pressure. Full toss, and that is just a stand-up, smash to mid-wicket. So, nice relief valve for Mark Waugh. Australia move along to 172 for four. Short and hammered. Loose delivery, didn't come out right. But Mark Waugh has punished it and reached his half-century. Second 50 of this match. In the air, brilliantly taken. That is a magnificent catch. Backward shot leg has come into play. And Rahul Dravid here has taken an absolute beauty. Well, that is an absolute uh, brilliant catch. Yeah, Habershine's had a good time against Ponting as well. Have a look at this. 18 balls, four runs, four dismissals in the series. So, uh, if you think that he's a little bit nervous at the moment, you're spot on right. You can see it. It's written all over his face. And uh, why wouldn't he be? He's right in the cauldron here. Oh, and a big appeal there for caught behind. It's a huge appeal. The umpire says no, they can't believe it. Diga is carrying on. He really is. He wants to be a little bit careful. This uh, this probably did hit something. Let's see if we can find out what it was. Oh, big deflection off the bat. Huge deflection off the bat. The other way he comes. Oh, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. Caught and bowled. Right. He's been caught behind and given in. He's hit one straight back uh, to the bowler and, and he's dropped it. Just watch this. Well, can you believe it? Very low, but just didn't stay down long enough. Down the wicket he goes. That's it. That's much better. Ricky Ponting has decided, well, it's going to be you or me. Smashed it away down the ground. It's gone all the way. And uh, the score moves on to 206 for five. Asking the question, yes, he's given him out. That's the end of Ponting. Well, one gets the feeling that it was only a question of time. Ponting uh, didn't seem to be uh, too upset about that. Uh, he's on his way back to the pavilion. Steve Waugh just hangs his head down the other end. Ricky Ponting is out. Let's have a look. Nice delivery. And Ponting just uh, putting his hands nice and hard at the ball, off the glove. And that man at leg gully, there he is again. So, Raul Dravid takes the catch, and he is out for 11. It's 211 for six. Got about a half an hour to go to play this evening. And there goes uh, Shane Warne smashing that away. I think that's exactly the way he should play. Right off the middle of the bat for four. That's a very good shot from Shane Warne. He is a good aggressive player. Suits him better than trying to be a defensive player.
Great shot. There's that opportunistic uh, streak of Steve Wars. Saw one that he could get to on the half volley and he put it away. Oh, that's worth shouting and he's got him. He's got Shane Warne with the last ball of the day. And it was always on the cards if he kept kicking the ball that he was going to be in trouble. So India getting a big wicket. But uh, at least Shane Warne staying at that end means that Steve Waugh is still out there for Australia. He needs somebody to be there with him tomorrow for a while. Seven wickets down. This is again superb bowling by Harbhajan Singh. Ball pitching on just outside the off stump. And it was a ball that wasn't spinning and that would have gone on to hit middle stump. Good footwork. And it may have got through all the way it has. Poor fielding. So four runs for the Australian captain to open the, today's scoring. And again, Gooley, poor effort from the captain, knowing that runs are a premium on this fifth and final day. Run rate less than one run per over, but no wickets have fallen for the Australians. Harbidin Singh now to the captain, and in the air, and he's out. So Steve Waugh is the first to go this morning in the first half an hour of play. What a vital wicket for Harbidin Singh. His sixth, his 13th for the match, and the Australian captain continues to falter trying to get a half century in the second innings of a test match and very good bowling by Singh once again the Australian captain falling that's in the air and uh, the question asked is gone. That's it, all over for Gillespie. There it is, you see, the odd one just bouncing and kicking up in the air and a real lollipop little catch. Looks as if it is right off the glove. He just keeps bowling it there on the spot. Every now and again it does something. And uh, boy, he's having a wonderful test match. Australia, deeper and deeper in trouble. Bottom edge. I don't know what they're feeling for. It looked to me as if it uh, was bad and it'll go uh, all the way to the boundary. These are all vital runs. Vital minutes and vital runs. Yeah, it looked like a bottom edge. Ah! And up goes the finger. He was looking to sweep round the corner. Again, the shot selection not right. Eight in this innings for Harbhajan, 15 in the match. He's been the star performer for India in the series. Second best match figures in the history of Indian Test cricket to this man. He took India's first hat-trick about a week or so ago and now he's become the man with the second best figures to Hawani in the history of Indian cricket and he's just 20 years of age. What a performance, Ravi. What a star. 264 all out. Australia's lead 154 runs. Mark Waugh top scored with 57, but he was one of eight victims to India's new bowling star. Habajan Singh, 32 wickets in the series with 15 in this match alone. So 155 to secure an unlikely match and series win. Could the Indians hold their nerve? That's what he likes to do, and then he'll go to the boundary. Hard ball. Reaching at the off drive, that's Ramesh's style. There's no point the Australians getting frustrated or flustered by it. That's how he plays. Well, that's an excellent shot. This time he guides it through the gap. That's good batting. Both players playing their shots when the opportunity presents itself. Up in the air, and Glenn McGrath gets his breakthrough, 
with a quicker bouncer. The Australian supporters looking very happy there. It's very good bowling from Glenn McGrath. Extra effort there from Glenn McGrath and uh, SS Das struggling. No point. And Vivius Lakshman is a good timer of the cricket ball. That's a beautiful cricket shot. There was a little bit of drift in that one. He played the shot very late. Got it through uh, the offside field. Well, that's very short and it's steered away nicely. That'll go for four as well. Bad ball from Colin Miller. That's what the Indians have got to do. They've got to be patient. It'll be interesting to see how the Indian batsmen take to one here. Early pressure on him could make a difference. And straight away, he's punched off the back foot and to the boundary. Slightly short, and Lakshman was onto it in a flash. He's welcome to the bowling crease by a superb shot from Lakshman. Overpitched, and that's hammered down the ground between the bowler and mid-on. Just goes to show you the kind of form he's in. It also brings up the 50-run partnership. And India cruising at the stage, 70 for one. What a lovely shot. That's a rude awakening for Gillespie. Not the kind of welcome he'd wanted. But this man is in crackling form. Mix up, run out, yeah. Lakshman sending back Ramesh there. And against the run of play, the Australians get another opportunity. Ramesh can't believe it. Yes, Ravi, totally against the run of play. A very, very upset Ramesh walking back to the pavilion. Too short and hammered. That gets rid of 87. That's what hurts when you only have a small total to defend at some boundaries. And he might be out. He is out. That's a very good bouncer from Jason Gillespie. So once again, just as the game looked as though it was going comfortably to India, the Australians have got a breakthrough. Well, first ball around the wicket. And instead of getting it outside off stump, Gillespie got it straight at Sachin Tendulkar. Very wide of the crease. And Tendulkar trying to get out of the way, but couldn't get his gloves down in time. And Mark Waugh took an easy catch at second slip. So the game's still alive for the Australian. Tendulkar is out, the danger man. Laxman is still there on 47. Could be four buys. It went very wide. Not sure whether he got a got a hit on it, and it's rolled into the rope. He did just get a touch on it. This time straight to Mark War. So Gillespie has kept the flame alive for Australia. Ganguly really fishing outside off stump. Very bad shot from Ganguly to follow up the previous delivery with that same shot. That's what's disappointing about it. So Australian still in with a real chance. 38 to win. And the crowd are hooting him as he leaves the ground here. So sort of Ganguly out for four, 117 for four. Now there is the lineup. Now um, D Gay and Bahutule on debut, and then it's serious tail. 
Oh, it's through the uh, gap. It's four. It's all or nothing now for the Australians. They're all up there. That does present uh, India with a chance of finishing this quickly. If it's through the uh, slip cord, it's four. That's in the air, and yes, he's got him. That's out. He's caught him. This match is not over yet. Laxman has lobbed it up on the offside. Steve War has come forward. He's taken a catch. Watch out for these Australians. They're not giving up just yet. Well, this match could still go right down to the wire. That's better, but it's nicely played. Oh, and uh, yes, he's got it. Steve War uh, <laughs> fumbling all over the place down there. It was beautifully struck. Short delivery, oh, he's got him, what a catch, what a catch, what an unbelievable catch. That is absolute, he's stunned, he's absolutely stunned, so he should be. He's got to go, Mark Waugh has taken an absolute blinder here in Chennai. Could this be the catch that swings the test match? What an unbelievable catch, it was four all the way, right off the meat of the bat. BVS Lakshman gone for 60, a big, big blow for India. That's it, he's got it, that's out, it's another one down, it's another one down, India, it's not over yet, caught it slip, Funky Miller is coming to the party, albeit very, very late. That one turned and bounced a little bit, Bahutulai, found the edge and it went straight to first slip 135 for seven oh and off the edge for four off the edge for four a little bit streaky but so so valuable India needs 13 to win Short delivery, that's going down towards the boundary as well. Short delivery from Colin Miller. That was well played. That makes it nine to win, 146 for seven. In the air and wide of slip, it's four. That's four. Four vital runs. Well, it was in the air. There's no third slip there. I think it may just have carried had there been a third slip in position. In the air, got him caught. He's got him. Mark Waugh again into the action. Mark Waugh has caught it as clean as a whistle. Four catches. The end of Zahir Khan. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. India still needs four. And there are two batsmen to come. They're going to give him one. And he's going to take it. Right. Three to win. Two to tie. Habajan is in the hot seat. Oh, he's going to run for it too. He's gone to bit off. He's got a single. Oh, and it's missed the stumps. Oh, and very nearly overthrows. Yeah, I thought so. Mid-off, definitely too deep. They had to be saving the one. So, he's got himself a single. Very unorthodox shot, mind you. I think the Australians probably feel that this is their big chance. One of the great fast bowlers of all time has the ball in his hand. He is roaring in now at the Habajan Singh. Oh, he's got it away. This will be it. He'll come back for the second. India have won the test match. India have won the series. The crowd are on their feet. Habajan wants to be absolutely sure. Digay says, check with the scorers, please.
the test match and the test, this wonderful test series is over. Digay celebrates Habajan Singh, who has done so much. All those wickets is out in the centre and appropriately so. This was how the spectators and the team greeted those winning runs from the bat of Digay. Tremendous scenes with India just hanging on to win by two wickets. Great resilience, especially after the batting had crumbled so tamely in that first test. Your guys have shown great character. Absolutely, you know, after losing in Bombay and after the first two, test, first two days in Calcutta, I never thought we would be here. What do you think was the turning point of the series? I thought the innings of Lakshman in Calcutta and the way the Rahul and Lakshman fought the fourth day out, I think that was probably the turning point. A lot of positives to come out of for India in this series. Two youngsters coming to the fore, Harbhajan Singh, BBS Lakshman. Yeah, absolutely, Bhaji bowled, bowled like a dream. You know, Every time I turned him for a wicket, he just picked it. And he looked like picking a wicket every ball. And Lakshman, he scored 500 runs in a series. So these are the two greatest things which has happened to Indian cricket in this series. 155 to get, you made heavy weather of it. Yeah, absolutely, we were cruising at 100 for two, but then we lost a couple of wickets. But at the end, we fought it out well. Well, Steve, bad luck, uh, but one of the best series you've ever played in. Yeah, tremendous series. It's uh, up and down many times, and uh, I'd like to congratulate the Indians for you know, a great comeback after the first test. But also to my side, I was proud of the way we played today. We never gave in, and that's all I can ask for the side. 155. You thought another 25 runs there would have been handy? Well, funny enough, our game plan was to make India try and get 150 in the last innings. So we would have liked a few more, but we thought 150 might be enough. If you look back on your on the series here, three sessions where you lost seven wickets. That was the turning point. Yeah, definitely, and that's, that's been our strength over the last couple of years, not having a real bad session, and unfortunately we had three of those in this series, and they, they probably cost us two test matches. The Man of the Match award was shared this time, Matthew Hayden for his double hundred, and Habajan Singh for his 15 wickets, and Habajan, Man of the Series, with 32 wickets in just three matches. So one of the best test series ever witnessed, Australia's domination of world cricket finally ended. They certainly didn't play badly, but India reached remarkable heights and found new heroes when they needed them most. India, Australia, 2001, simply unforgettable. Lovely shot to bring up his hundred. That's a great test match hundred for Adam Gilchrist. Australia have won 16 test matches in a row. Well, the first Indian ever to take a hat-trick in test match cricket. So he becomes the highest scorer for India in a test match. That's a fantastic century. Oh, he's given him! He's given him! I'm five months old, given him! That's the end of the test match. India have won. And Dilka has gone for the big one and tore up his hundred in style. India have won the test match. India have won the series.